There are a few things that parents and kids rarely talk about in public because they're just too embarrassing. One is politics, because, you know, obviously that's just too scary for kids. The other has to do with liquid that, let's just say, presents itself at unfortunate times, like in the middle of the night. The topic is so taboo that I'm gonna have to speak in code for a minute. Okay, I'm talking about wed bedding. Yes, wed bedding. Lots of kids do it, none of them like it, and it can affect much more than a mattress. Now, one innovation can prevent wetness unplanned with sensors in a band. Here's Albert Lawrence to explain. From the day we're born and into our young adult years, critical connections between our brain and physical body are being formed such as the bladder signaling to the brain that it's full. It's a natural development process, and that bladder the brain pathway is the last pathway to form. Unfortunately, any interruption in that signal pathway can be very traumatic for children. Startup executive John Coble knows firsthand. I grew up with two younger twin brothers. They were both bedwetters. One stopped when they were eight years old, his twin, was a bedwetter as well as a daytime wetter all the way through his childhood and through college. And he has basically been scarred for life. And I felt that it was important, uh, it's such a devastating condition, to really see what we could do about it. I made the trip to Richmond, Virginia to meet John at Startup Accelerator Lighthouse Labs to learn about a device that monitors a child's heart rate, breathing, and perspiration levels and alerts them to wake up and use the bathroom. It's called GoGo -Go Band. Well, Albert, welcome to the GoGo -Go Band home. I'd like to show you a little bit about the development process we've been on for the last three years. These are some of the sort of iterations. John's team studied current wearable technology for inspiration. We basically deconstructed this to kind of understand how it's all put together, what kind of sensor technology they're using. Mm. We were originally thinking the wrist, we've settled on the calf. Why did you decide on the calf as opposed to the wrist? Body types between five and 18 year olds, girls versus boys are very different. The wrists can be very different sizes, whereas the calf in a child five to 18, if you get the right size strap, it will hold and hug and we get very good biometric telemetry data from that portion of the body. What's telemetry data? It's all the biometrics that we use to run our artificial intelligence, machine learning, cloud-based system okay. that allows us to predictively alert before that child wets the bed. Mm -hmm. That bladder is about to void, wake up. Over time, GoGo Band orients the brain to consistently recognize and respond to the bladder full signal in the body, decreasing the number of wet nights. What we're gonna do is demonstrate a predictive alert and you can see kind of what, what happens at the bedside and on the parent's smartphone. Okay. And, and all I do is tap it. Okay. Did I wet or am I dry? I think I'm pretty dry. You're dry. I submit. Go to the bathroom again. So it's telling you still go to the bathroom. Still go to the bathroom. Okay. And then you're basically good. Go back to bed. It's still running. So listen to the alarm, because it's going to wake me up before I go-go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs>